This unit is one of our Nyrex drum lifters. Safe working load of this one is 350 kilos and it's designed to lift one drum and place it on top of another. So first thing we do is wheel it in. So the arms go underneath the lip of the drum. Don't put the brakes on at the back, so this allows it to self-centralise. So then here, this is our crank handle, so we connect the hook in and we use this crank handle to actually close the clamp around the drum. You see it's self-centralising now. Now it's important with this to leave this at 90 degrees so you can actually disconnect the handle. So tighten it up and then we can unhook. If you turn this at vertically, it makes it difficult to undo the handle at height. So to connect it, we simply just hook in and turn away and disconnect. Next thing I'm going to do is inspect it. So before we lift it, make sure that we can see that these are underneath the lip of the drum. It's quite easy to see that. You can see here, so check the left side and check the right side that the unit's comfortably in at the side. It's not squeezing it, it's literally just coming in to pick up underneath the lip. So then here, we've got our lift and lower buttons. We can now manoeuvre the unit around, so we'll be able to manoeuvre in and place the drum on top of the next one. So the procedure for disconnecting would be align the base with the other drum, press the down button so the weight comes off the head and you make sure that it's sitting down perfectly on the other drum and again you'll be able to see that. And then the handle here, because we've left this in the horizontal, we simply hook on there and then we operate this handle to unclamp the drum. Again, we've lowered it down to the floor. I can actually see down this part of the arm and I can actually see a gap there. So I know I have no weight on the arm and I can see the drum is on the floor. So the handle now, you place the handle in the vertical like this and hook under there. And then we just rotate. Again, just rotate and you can see there, so it allows us to get the handle out. Once you've done it a few times, you soon get the hang of it. And then pull the unit away. So this is the part where we fasten on our crank handle and it must be in the horizontal. So when it's up in the air with it horizontally, we bring the hook in and we literally just hook into the arm and that allows us then to rotate. And if the unit's in the lower position, we bring the handle up from underneath and we connect in to rotate. We're now looking at the rear control panel. First one here at Z stop. Press down to cut all the power to the unit. Pull up to reset. We also have a power key here. If we do this, we can take the key out, and again, you can't operate the unit. Put the key in, turns the on position. This is the battery condition meter, tells us how much charge is in the batteries. It's a good idea to keep it charged up as much as you can. Batteries perform a lot better when they're kept at a nice high charge state. 
Then here we have the lift button and the lower button.